If you are a business owner looking to automate your phone calls or increase customer engagement, AI Voice Agents will be your solution. An AI Voice Agent is a human-like digital assistant that can respond using generative AI and speak naturally. Today, I'll be building an AI Voice Agent for Expedia that acts as a travel assistant, helping customers plan their trips and guiding them through their bookings. I've built AI voice agents across multiple industries, automating customer service and scaling outbound calls. The benefits go far beyond saving time. They really transform how businesses can engage with their customers and close more sales. In this video, I'll show you the Expedia use case, building the agent in retail AI, and walking you through how it works. By the end, you'll have a solid understanding of what AI voice agents could bring to your business and why failing to adopt this technology could lead to missing out on quite a significant opportunity. So Expedia is a travel technology company that helps customers book hotels, flights, cars, activities, and more. It really streamlines trip booking by providing an end-to-end -end solution for everything that they need. So I'm gonna go ahead and build a voice agent that customers can call at any time to receive guidance on planning their trips and just get a better understanding of their services. This is undoubtedly something that customers would need and would typically contact separate travel agencies to do for them. Our solution will help streamline the decision-making process for customers. For example, John may be looking at booking a trip to Japan. He's been to Tokyo before, but isn't quite sure what the next place to go is. John can simply call the AI travel agent and provide details about his situation and the AI will provide assistance in making his decision. It may recommend Kyoto or Osaka, etc., and provide detailed information as to why those recommendations were made. John can ask any follow-up questions and hopefully come up with a fully-fledged plan for his trip. This will lead to a quicker purchasing decision, boosting sales for Expedia. There's even more that we can do with automating customer support, bookings, accounts, etc. But for this video, I'm just gonna be covering the AI travel agent. I've now just jumped into Retail AI, which is gonna be the main platform that I'm gonna be using to build our main AI voice agent. If you haven't yet signed up for retail, you can do so by using my link in the description. Once you've gone ahead and done that, you're gonna land on a page that looks just like this. And this is gonna be our main dashboard where we manage all of our agents. And all I'm gonna do is get started by clicking create an agent in the top right. I'm gonna click on single prompt agent and I'm gonna click start from blank. Once we've gone ahead and created our brand new agent, we're gonna land on a page that looks just like this. And this is our sort of main dashboard. So this is where we manage everything about the assistant. We get access to all of the prompt aspects. We get access to all of the speaking aspects. So the actual AI model itself, depending on if we want it to be cheaper, if we want it to be quicker, we can do everything through here. If we want the different voice to be a different accent, if we want it to be a male, a female, or we want it to be younger or older, we can customize all of these aspects and this plugs directly into platforms you might have heard of like 11 Labs, DeepGram. These are voice provider models. And we can also go ahead and upload custom voices as well. So if you are familiar with 11 Labs, you can actually clone your own voice and you can input that as well into here. So there's obviously a few different options for customizing that aspect. The most important part of our agent is going to be this prompt right here. So this is where we control everything about providing instructions where you can put in its role, its objectives, and all of this contributes to how the assistant responds, how it acts, how it shapes its entire personality. That's all done through our prompt. The most important part of our assistant is going to be the prompt. So the prompt is where we provide its instructions for the assistant to shape its personality. Like it says here, it could be the role of the assistant, its objective, its conversational style. So we're essentially shaping its entire persona, how it acts when it responds, what to actually say from different questions that come through, how to respond to them, and how, also how to handle questions that come through that are random, answering those types of questions as well. So things like edge cases and handling things like that. So the first thing that I'm gonna be doing with this prompt is actually pasting in a template that I've previously used on my channel. So this is really just a guide for getting started and building out your sort of initial phase of these voice agents. So in one of my previous videos, I've actually covered how to actually test and run automated testing for voice agents. And one thing that I do note is that when you're creating these voice agents, the first sort of creation that you create is something that's not gonna be obviously the end result. When you start to test these systems, you're gonna run into some faults, you're gonna run into some errors, you're gonna realize the areas where things need to change and you need to update the prompts. So obviously you're not gonna to stick to the first prompt you ever create. You're gonna to wanna to obviously change this quite a lot, but this is a decent framework for getting started, building out that first iteration and then building on top of. So now that I've got my prompt template in here, I'm gonna create the role. So the role is really shaping its personality. It's really getting a broad look at the agent and just telling it exactly who it is and what its sort of personality is. So in this case, I could say, you are Jack, an AI travel assistant who helps customers at Expedia get recommendations 
for their travel experiences. So that is a very basic role. Obviously I've just done that sentence right off the bat. Once you start to test this system and you start to understand its responses from this particular assistant, you're gonna to wanna to obviously change that sentence around. Maybe you wanna say that you are Jack, you work for Expedia, who helps customers, slight wording change, that might make a difference. Who knows, this is something that we do need to figure out when we test it later on. But for the most part, we're just getting a general understanding of the prompt structure and just throwing things on the table at the moment. Then secondly, we're gonna be building out a task. So for the task, we're gonna look at this more specifically for the customer. What does the customer actually want? And what do we want for them? So in this case, we're obviously gonna be a travel assistant or a travel agent. And our goal is to provide recommendations and hopefully ultimately sort of plan out and get to an end goal for their travel. So if they want to go to a particular country, we wanna make sure that the particular trip where they're going, the different places they're going, some of the activities maybe is all planned out and that we've actually lined up the entire trip for them and that there's no more questions because ultimately we want to have this system ready to go for them so that they have their trip planned out. They can go onto Expedia and then make a purchase much quicker than anything before. So I've gone ahead and said for the task, your task is to provide complete travel recommendations for customers. You must help guide the customer with recommendations, ask them about their travel needs to achieve the complete travel plan. Moving on to the specifics, we might give it some examples of recommendations that we might make how we're gonna make these recommendations in the way we, that we might say it. If somebody wants to go to Japan, we might recommend going to Tokyo or Osaka, different cities within Japan, and we write, recommend it and just start from the top, start with the very broad locations, then start diving into some more specific things just so we can get that complete plan. So for specifics, I said, if someone wants to go to Japan, please recommend different cities they could go to and the reasons for going to different ones. After confirmation of a town, we can begin to dive deeper into whereabouts in the city they might want to stay. We should recommend different areas and let them choose, helping answer any questions they may have. After having a specific plan for the city, ask if they would like to travel elsewhere and collect more information on their desires. Once they have completed their travel plans, please give the customer a summary of their plans and notify them that they can book this all through Expedia. So once again, a very rough sort of first iteration of what the specifics might look like. When we test this and call it, we might think that it doesn't actually do what we want it to. Maybe we want it to recommend us the trip and travel plans in a different way. Maybe it wants to start off by asking about the country rather than understanding what the country is in the first place and providing recommendations first there. Obviously a few different ways we can do it. Now that we've done the specifics, I'm gonna move on to the business. So this is giving it context about the business, what the business does. And this is really just feeding into the assistant and giving it an understanding of who are you? Who do you work for? What is this company? What is the point of our objective? And this just really helps to shape pretty much entire personality because if it understands the company it's working for, it's able to shape its responses to align with that a bit better, give it more context about that. So for the business, I've gone ahead and said Expedia is a prominent online travel agency that enables users to book a wide array of travel services, including flights, hotels, car rentals, cruises, etc. And then below this, we have what we do. So this is continuing on from the context. So we've now got the business, which is under the context. And we've also got what we do, which is under context. So it's more understanding as to what the business does specifically. In this case, I've said Expedia's platform is designed to provide users with a seamless booking experience offering tools to compare prices, read reviews, and access exclusive deals. So now that I've gone ahead and got that included, this is essentially the base of an assistant that I would build out. I would just throw this all onto the prompt, get this out there and just start to see what it reacts, how it responds. And then you get an idea as to how it sounds when you're actually talking to it. And then you can start to make those adjustments. Now, at the end of this prompt, I've also got the notes section. I typically put in the notes once I've started testing. So I test it out, see how it responds. And if there's any nuances, that I wanna fix, any small things I wanna fix, or typically chuck that in the notes. Otherwise, if it relates to one of these topics, maybe it's the task, maybe it's the role, I'll then add it in here. Hey, I'm looking to book a trip. Hi there, I'd be happy to help you plan your trip. Do you have a specific destination in mind or are you looking for some inspiration? If you're considering Japan, I can provide recommendations for different cities and experiences. Let me know what you're thinking yeah, I was actually looking at traveling in the Asia area. Great choice. Asia offers a diverse range of cultures, landscapes, and experiences. Since you mentioned Japan earlier, would you like to explore that option further? Or are there other countries in Asia you're considering? If Japan is on your list, I can suggest some cities and activities to help you get started. Let me know your preferences. So that was the first test call that I've run on this prompt. And as you can see, it's sort of thought that I had talked about Japan previously, because we do have that in this prompt right here. So one thing we will have to add is that this example that we've provided 
is not a part of the context. This is purely an example that I've thrown in and we just need to let it know that. So I've simply gone ahead and added in a hashtag, hashtag example. The reason we're doing these hashtags is that we're using something called markdown formatting. Markdown formatting is just a way that we can separate headings, paragraphs, and different text elements and their rankings. And we can do that using Markdown formatting because OpenAI actually trained all of their data on Markdown formatting. So it just helps it understand different parts of the prompt better. But I've just gone ahead and added in the heading for example. So we're just letting it know this is actually an example. This is not a part of the context. So this is a very small change, but we'll see what effect this actually has on the assistant. Hey, I'm looking to book a trip. Hi there. I'd be delighted to help you plan your trip. To get started, could you tell me a bit more about your travel preferences? For example, do you have a specific destination in mind or are you open to suggestions? Also, let me know if you have any particular interests or activities you'd like to include in your trip. I'm actually interested in the Asia area. Great choice. Asia is a diverse and exciting region with so much to offer. To narrow it down a bit, do you have any specific countries or cities in mind? or would you like some recommendations? Additionally, are there any particular activities or experiences you're interested in, such as cultural exploration, nature, food, or adventure? This will help me tailor the suggestions to your preferences. No, I'm not actually, I'm, I'm looking to go to Japan if that's possible. Japan is a fantastic destination with a rich blend of tradition and modernity. There are several cities you might consider visiting, each offering unique experiences. So there you go, that small fix right there did actually happen to fix that. So we were able to remove it from thinking that we had previously mentioned Japan before. And then now it was able to just provide a suggestion question. And then we said Japan, and then it continued on. Now, obviously, once again, we're gonna to have to continue to add to this because once it started reading out those recommendations, it was a bit robotic. It was sort of reading it like it was a sort of Google recommendation. I was reading it like a blog post. Obviously you would want it to be a bit more human-like and we can definitely prompt it to do that. But we would want it to maybe say less questions. We maybe only want it to say one question at a time. So we, that is something that we can now add into our notes section. So I've gone ahead and added in the notes, only ask the customer one question at a time. Please keep your responses to fewer than three sentences and please respond like a friendly human to the customer. Try to help them make an informed decision, but don't be too descriptive with the recommendations. Just cover the key points that they need to know. Hey, I was looking to see if I could get some recommendations for traveling to Japan. Absolutely. Japan is a fantastic destination with a lot to offer. Are you interested in exploring bustling cities, historical sites, or perhaps enjoying nature and traditional culture? Yeah, definitely the uh, nature and traditional culture. Great choice. For nature and traditional culture, Kyoto is a must visit with its beautiful temples and gardens. Nara is also nearby, known for its historic sites and friendly deer. Would you like more information on either of these places? Yeah, or is there one, another area you're- Yeah, which one's the best one to go to? Kyoto is often considered the best for a mix of nature and traditional culture, with its stunning temples, bamboo groves, and traditional tea houses. Would you like recommendations on where to stay in Kyoto? Yeah, but I liked it to be one of the non-touristy areas, if that's okay. Certainly. Arashiyama is a beautiful area in Kyoto that offers a more tranquil experience with its scenic bamboo forest and river views. Would you like suggestions on accommodations in Arashiyama? So as you can see there, that is now a lot better than our previous one. It was able to obviously only ask a couple of questions at a time. It didn't go through a heap of detail describing uh, unnecessary descriptions of particular parts of the experiences. It just noted down the key concepts from one part to another so we can make a clear decision. And when you made that decision, it then followed up uh, with getting some more detail out of you. So as you can see there, just that small bit of prompt engineering that we did there, yielded quite a big result in our agent's responses. Now, obviously, as we continue to do this and we add more complexity to it to follow along with getting more detailed descriptions, following through with accommodations, activities, different setups for our trips, we're obviously gonna to need to continue to add to the prompt engineering and get it better and better over time. If you wanna learn more about building AI voice agents, check out this two hour tutorial that I created that covers everything there is to know.